Guys, it's been a while since I made one of these videos. It's been like five weeks, six weeks since I was in Oklahoma and I made a video with Zach. Uh, it is September 10th, 1123. Sunday, it's a rest day. I wanted to start making a video. Um, I recorded one a couple days ago and then I looked at the footage and it just wasn't good. I'm still getting used to learning this camera. So just being patient with myself on that. The settings weren't good. Some of the footage was good, but it's just... I just didn't like the video, so I wanted to start one today. So lately, I haven't been doing many YouTube vlogs just because I've been so invested in training, invested in spending my time on things like Active Works, which is my nutrition coaching business. So all of my energy that I've been investing has been in those things. So I haven't made the time to film and edit videos, but I want to start doing, I think I was talking to Lucas, I want to do one at least once every two weeks and like make it a pretty good video instead of like rushing to put one out every week or something like that i just want to start making videos and start practicing all this editing stuff that i want to get better at so um a lot of my time just hasn't been focused towards this just because i want to go into the next season the 2018 season being as good as I could possibly be so that means investing all my time in nutrition that means investing all my time in making sure that I approach training with the right mindset that means making sure I get enough sleep that means making sure that I'm driving to get my body worked on once a week at least that means making sure I'm tracking logging my food that means I'm making sure that I'm doing mobility and movement in between dead spots of time throughout the day when I'm not working when I'm not eating or when I'm not driving to the gym and training so all my focus has not been on these but it's been on growing actually and becoming a better athlete. Um, today, I am running to Starbucks to get a coffee. I have a phone call with my friend Jason, who is pretty much him and Kyle Lucas are very big influences on why I even started Active Works Nutrition and why I even became a remote coach. So I'm gonna talk to Jason because I'm at a point in my business and in my life where I need some guidance, I need some, I need a mentor, you know, and I like to go to him because he's 100% honest and he's straight out with me, but he also has my best intentions in mind as well, so he's a really good person to have, he's been doing this for a long time, so I got a phone call with him today, uh, I got a couple phone consults, but I just wanted to start making this video. Um, lately for me, like regarding my training and food, training's never been better. I honestly don't think training's ever been better in my entire life, guys. And that is a really bold statement because there's been many times in my life where I felt like training was freaking awesome, but right now I just feel really good. But I'm really heavy right now. I weigh 184 pounds. I'm 5'5". Five five. Uh, I'm not necessarily fat. I just, I'm weighing really heavy, so I need to like try to lose some muscle. And today... Not today. Well, my nutrition is all about trying to get me to lose some muscle, except I'm a, I'm a weird case because I wasn't eating enough, so I have to eat more food to handle the demands of training and recovery, but I have to lose some muscle. So I'm trying to slow down hypertrophy of my muscle with all the training that I'm doing, but still eat enough calories to have energy to perform optimal training. So I had to increase my carbs and fat intake, but I had to lower my protein intake down to 130 from 150. The reason why it's so low relative to my body weight is because we tried to lower it from 170 to 150, and that didn't slow down hypertrophy enough, and I was weighing 184 still, so we need to get me down to like 175 to 180 at a, com at a comfortable range there. I'm eating about I was eating 3,000 calories a day. Now I'm up to 3,100 to 3,200 with that low protein intake. So I'm trying to see how that works for my body here within the next two to three weeks. Uh, but that's where I'm at. I'm eating a crap ton of food. I'm eating 130 grams of protein, 475 grams of carbs, 80 grams of fat. And I'm eating that every single day. So it's eating is just a full-time job for me. But that's what's in store today. I got some work to do. I need to go get this coffee because I'm freaking thirsty. And I need to wake up. Find my headphones. I've gone through like eight pair. Well, I'm not gonna say eight, but like three. This is my third pair. I've, I broke my original pair. I had to buy another pair for too much money, like 50 bucks in Atlanta. That pair shorted out and I just got this pair from Walmart. I think they just 
keep making you go back to buy more headphones or they know that I use them that much. So yeah, I need to go get coffee. I'll be back. Yeah. Living life. Yeah. Like where I'm at right now, man, business is going really well, you know. Is maintaining and everything is going well and I definitely feel like I'm improving my skill set as a coach and I want to improve that throughout the next six years. So by the time I'm 30, I don't just, you know, like I just want to make sure I'm using up everything that I can so by that time you know I am improving on because I'm gonna be I spend most of my time training so like I am spending most of my energy doing the athletic endeavor but I also want to be able to like grow whenever I want to grow later so I want to set my success myself up for success later so I guess it is just a matter of using the small amount of time that I have I'm literally like I'm working so hard to be the best nutrition coach I can be and what are you doing what are you doing what are you snacking on pops a lot yeah hey Coco so, Sunday's been good so far. That was a phone call with Jason. I'm just chilling. Just had some lunch. I need to actually go. Actually, I had lunch like an hour ago, so I need to go get some food. Um, earlier this week, training was really good. I vlogged it, but I didn't edit the video. I did like an entire vlog already, but I didn't like it. But yeah, I had a really good training session. I hit 340 for a double split jerk out of the rack. So I'll probably insert the clip here. It felt pretty good, I worked up to that. And then I had a nasty calorie row, handstand push up, 30 power clean at 205 and muscle up workout chipper that was just straight dirty. And then yesterday, the other video that's uploaded onto this page was the two minute time trial event until failure that Kyle had me do which I did pretty good on, but I think I could get a better score. So lately training's been good. I've been able to dig deep into the training. I've been able to learn more and push my body to points that I have not ever been able to go. So everything's going well regarding training. Since I invest so much time into training and stuff, I wanted to have a phone call with Jason to see what he had to say about, you know, the long-term plan regarding just trying to learn more and improve my skill set as a coach and I'm 24 now, by the time I'm 30, I wanna make sure that right now, yes, I'm training all the time. I'm doing so much to become a better athlete, which in the long run will improve my brand, the notoriety of my brand. Um, but I wanna make sure that I actually improve my skill set in business, coaching, uh, competence with working with clients, you know, just all around the business side of things. So I got his input on that and he was really uh, helpful. So go check him out. Love his L1 seminar, it was fantastic, helped me out a ton and just continuing to add value to people. The brand is growing so fast and I just need to make sure that I grow at a rate that's not exceeding my capacity to give people quality service. So everything's going really well. I have a couple phone consults today. Um, yeah, this is my life. Like I, I work a lot. I eat in between on rest days. And Preston's actually in town, so I might go see what he's up to. I haven't seen him in a while, so we might hang out. I'm really craving a donut for some reason, so <laughs> I might go get a donut. I think I probably will go get a donut. I don't know from where. We have, like, no good donut shops in town, so I need to go. I eventually want to go get, like, one of them thick, really thick cake donuts. Dude, I'm so fat. So if there's anything that I can help you with regarding nutrition, let me know. I would love to help and add value in any way that I possibly can. If there's anything that you get from these videos, it's that if you have a goal and you have a dream, go chase it and stop waiting around. Do something. Don't listen to what people have to say because it doesn't matter what they have to say. Be weird as shit. Chase what you like to do be who you want to be and everything's gonna pay off trust me it will pay off hard work always pays off hope you guys enjoy this video and have a great day 
here's my update via YouTube. I usually post on Instagram all the time, so go follow me there. But here's my YouTube video. I hope you guys enjoy. It's Sunday. I'm going to go relax after these phone consults and take care of my body. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you in the next video. Love you and have a great day. Another thing though I forgot to mention, I bought the new Alpha Elite launch finally because every time I try to buy medium, they're all sold out, but I got the new long sleeve. And it fits pretty well except I'm 5'5 five five and this, the length of this thing is so long. So I have to like kind of like blouse it, but it's a really nice quality t-shirt long sleeve. I got this and I got the red cut off tank. Really quality cloth. Feels really good. It was worth the price. The price wasn't too bad. So I really like it. So Christian, you'll never see this in your life. Good stuff, man. Appreciate it. Say something. End the video for me. End the vlog, mom. End the vlog. End. <laughs> there you go. I seen a lot of shit I shouldn't have, but never forgot it though. Brothers on the corner selling crack like it was not a though. Walk inside my kitchen, baking soda all up on the floor.